Maybe I can shoot a few hoops here. I wonder if I can make one one-handed. Sure cold out here. It's supposed to get down to 35 tonight. That's almost freezing. Oh, it looks like a bad accident there. Oh, you get hit hard. And this jet flies down, flies way close over my head. It sounded like it was going to crash. I cannot believe it. It is snowing. Mm. I headed straight to you, this. Do you want a knife? <laughs> oh, well, spatula works. And good morning, Mapo fans. Looks like the neighbor is cementing the front section of his yard across the street. Then he won't have to mow it. And let's see what today brings. Now look at all these seats. Getting my barefoot running done. In. I want to do some grounding out here. And I got the trap set. I got this from Davey about five years ago. Been catching the traps, the cats with this. And when they step on here, Let's see if I can get it to... Then it closes and they can't get out. So this is my plan and the babies have opened their eyes. And I was holding them and the mom comes running over hissing at me. Oh boy, oh look at her. She's mad, look at her hissing. What mama? You know that day's coming, don't you? Kitty. We gotta reset the trap. Hopefully catch the guys. That's what I gotta do there. I saw like three of them around here. Okay, we got it all cleaned out. Got the sand pile all puffed up again. Cleaned out the tree house. It was a mess up in there. Uh, this, this is breaking, so I had to put boards there and get the mud pies cleaned out of there. Oh, looks like a bird got attacked in here. Oh dear, poor little birdie. And let's get the, my exercise and finished up here. Maybe I can shoot a few hoops here. I wonder if I can make one one-handed. There we go. Oh, miss. It's too hard one-handed. Let's try you again. Ah, swish <laughs> And Usually when somebody pours fresh cement, a puppy runs through it <laughs> or somebody has to put their mark. I could go put my footprint and then write Mama O is here. <laughs> Double dare. No, I wouldn't dare. They just smooth it over. And I'm getting labels and my number and everything all set on here to, for Mother's Day boutique sale. Oh, and I forgot to set the trap again. And they usually don't come out till night, but I'll set it up during the day and then I'll leave it up, set it up for the night time with the food in there. It is all set. Got the food. Usually the dry food doesn't work. I might have to get toony fish. I'll have to get the leaf blower and blow all these seeds away. Gave the rabbits some watermelon and the rinds and the chickens watermelon rinds. And Davy, they sold the turtle and the turtle because uh, it's just too much work to be taken care of while they're gone and they want to sell that, oh, lizard thing that his aid has. He says, you want it, Mama O? And I says, no. <laughs> Not a lizard. Maybe a cute little bunny, but not a lizard. <laughs> well, they're moving fast. Let's get it poured in there and then smooth it out. While I was out here running, I noticed these cute purple flowers. Tiny, tiny things right next to you guys. <laughs> Pretty. And then my corn is growing in here. I'm going to put it in that garden over there when it's big enough. And I think that's either, I think that's cucumbers. More corn over there and my carrots are coming up already. Wow, pretty cool. And someone told me that the bugs like the herbs, the, the basil, and so they eat this instead of my tomato plants. I go, oh, okay, go ahead and eat the basil then, I guess. <laughs> 
I guess that works. They're really going to town digging at it. Hmm. Alrighty then. Oh, and these are the tomatoes planted indoors. And this is one I had outside, almost died, that rhymes. Brought it in here. And I think it'll survive. Rhymes again. <laughs> oh dear. Got my three miles in. Now I'll go upstairs and do a mini tramp for 10 minutes. It looks like rain. It's sure cold out here. It's supposed to get down to 35 tonight. That's almost freezing. But me and Papa just ate. We're gonna go have some ice cream. Hello, Mapo fans, and we got rain again. A little water to the garden, but not the greenhouse. But let's see what today brings. Boy, that rain is sure coming down. Crazy. Well, I'm gonna go out and eat with my friends while the cake cools. Oh, it looks like a bad accident there. Oh, you get hit hard. Oh, this weather is so crazy. It should only take me a half hour to get there. It's taken me an hour and a half. I'm so tired of this weather. Are we done yet? Oh, now we're moving. So crazy and the GPS just got, got me off the freeway and taken some kind of a shortcut. I'll be there in five minutes. And I've seen like 10 ambulances, three accidents, uh, at least three to five police cars. Um, so I don't know, just eventually get there. I don't know. Jeez, how come I always get caught in these traffic things? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I think shortcuts turn into long cuts. They get cut off. Uh, I was supposed to get there about 10 minutes ago, so I think it's cutting off 10 minutes to take this shortcut, but we shall see. It's just crazy weather, it's just drizzly, cold, miserable. I told Papa, oh, I had the greenhouse open. I said, why don't you close that up, because it's going to get cold tonight. And then this jet flies down, flies way close over my head. It sounded like it was going to crash. It was, it was scary. Well, I finally arrived. It only took an hour and 15 minutes to travel 30 miles. That's ridiculous. Well, my friends are right over there, so let's go eat. The sign is funny. Life is too short to eat rice cakes. <laughs> this is what I like. Uh, paper towels for your napkins. That's what Papa always grabs. Cute little place, Chubby's Neighborhood Cafe. Look at those antique bikes up there. Amanda would like that. My old antique restroom. Waiting for them to get their order done. So, if we get in any trouble, we got our guns right there with the skull head. <laughs> I cannot believe it. It is snowing in April. So, you can see it on the car window. Snow. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Today is, well, in, in one hour it will be May 1st. That is crazy. Katie, what do you think of that, huh? And it's 11.30 at night and I need, I'm making my DIY for um, Mother's Day angel food cake. And I need, I had to go to the store because I needed two more, two more cups of cream. So, okay, now we'll get back to our DIY. And hello, Mapo fans. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. I think we got a lot of the rain out of its system now. The sun is shining. I'm gonna run in and go to the temple quick and uh, just enjoy a peaceful day.
Looks like Joe's home from school. And what are you into? Oh, getting See, into the pie. Thing, and I, mm. I head straight to you, this. Do you want a knife? <laughs> oh, well, spatula works. Whoa, that's kind of a big piece. I got excited. I'll say you did. It's good, huh? This is day three, and it's still looking good. I think the gelatin in it holds the cream yeah. really well. And how did school go today? Went great. Good. I shared, Except for I shared my there you go. hockeys with a couple of students. Oh, that was nice of you. Those hot things? Yeah. Oh. I said, anybody want part of my talkies? Mm -hmm. Too hot for me. <laughs> Two of them. Still taste good? Three of them were Mexicans. Oh. Does it still taste good? Yeah. It's not soggy at all, huh? She's gone. <laughs> I gotta get Papa O into bed and I gotta uh, prepare some cheesy potatoes for a funeral tomorrow and I'll make it a double batch so because uh, Davy wants me and Papa O to babysit Friday uh, overnight into Saturday and Saturday's the Bueller Easter party so and I've got to bring a potluck so I'll just I'll be at Davy's house so I'll just prepare it here and freeze it and then take it down to Davy's house and then the neighbor next door wants me to go, she's 90 years old, she wants me to go over and play Skippo with her tonight. So I gotta go do that, so. Get the candy packed up ready for the Bueller Easter party, so let's get going. Okay, I got them made, and this one I'm going to freeze, uh, so I can have that for Saturday. And this one I'm going to bake for tomorrow. And I'll post the recipe. So you can know how to make these, they're really good. We call them funeral potatoes, because they're always at funerals. But they're actually cheesy potatoes. And the one I'm putting in the freezer, I'm marking it. I put uh, living foil over it and always mark it and say what it is because you think you're going to remember, but you won't. What if I forget those potatoes and leave them and then forget about them and keep forgetting about them and then I'll open up the freezer and say, gosh, what's this? And go, oh, oh yeah, cheesy potatoes because I wrote on it what it was. And I've been seeing that brown cat hang around over here hanging around. I haven't seen the baby kittens yet. I wonder where she put them and I've got the trap set over there but no takers yet. I gotta find some get some tuna fish or something that will lure him into there. I don't know where the cats are. Where are they all? And I think this basket will work great for the tree house. I think I've had three of the wicker baskets break. So this was only a dollar, so we'll see how long. I can just keep buying these. I think this will work great. It can be outside. I was going to use that one down there, but it can't really be outside. It can't get wet, but this one can. So I think this will work. I just don't want to go up there and get a rope, so I'll just leave it here till, let's hang it on the home sweet home sign. There we go, home sweet home. And on the outhouse, we have Joe and Roseanne Orgill that the neighbor made me. And then this one says, Grandma and Grandpa's place, always time for kids. I wondered if Alexa would know what the quote of the day is. Let's see if she does. Alexa, what's the quote of the day? This quote's from Elon Musk. When something is important enough, you do it, even if the odds are not in your favor. Alrighty then. Alexa does know a quote of the day. <laughs> Yeah.